Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about 10. Actually, I have 11, but I think 10 just sounds better. So we'll say 10 plus a bonus ways that you can make money at home. So if you watch a previous um, video, I think it might have been two videos ago or last video, um, I did eight ways to budget cut so you could afford to be a stay-at-home mom. And in that video, I said number eight was if you still can't make those budget cuts and be a stay-at-home mom, then I have ways that you could work from home and make money at home to supplement losing an income when you become a stay-at-home mom. So here's that video. Here's 10 ways to supplement a income and make money at home so you can afford to be a stay-at-home mom or so you can have some pocket change and stuff like that. I actually started doing this because um, I was pretty young when I became a stay-at-home mom. I was like 23. So I hadn't got like my confidence yet and I hadn't been like wasn't confident in being a mom and like what I was contributing to the household. So I felt like I was really lackluster in the department of contributing to my household and now I don't feel that way anymore. Um, but I still supplement with some income because it's nice for us to have that extra income for um, things that we want to do like when we go down to Michigan in the summer, um, Zoom memberships, stuff like that. Uh, so that I can have some pocket change, stuff like that. So, um, this is just 10 plus bonus ways to make money being a stay-at-home mom. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I will leave as many links as I can in the description box. I might not be able to find a lot of the links. Um, I mean, all the links that I have of the places I mentioned simply because I've been writing in this notebook um, for about four years of ways I've tried just so I don't retry something twice so number one is online surveys so you can spend a survey takes from 2 to 15 minutes and it'll pay you 25 cents to three dollars the most I've seen is three dollars there might be ones out there that pay you more I just haven't found them so there's a couple websites you can look up. You can look up Swagbucks, you can do SurveyMonkey, or um, MySurfway, and I've done all three. I did this um, for a while, and it just wasn't my cup of tea, I guess. It was something that took too much time, in my opinion, for not a lot of payout. I get 15 minutes in like 15 minutes, but um, a lot of these places won't pay you out until you get to a certain dollar amount and so if you have a lot of time and if you have like a half hour where you're watching Grey's Anatomy, I love Grey's Anatomy, or Game of Thrones, super excited about that coming back um, and you're like in between commercials or you're kind of like me and you need to multitask when you're watching TV, like I cannot sit down and watch a TV show, I have to be like folding laundry or I'm on my phone or like I have to have like three different things going on at once or I feel like I'm lost I guess <laughs> so um, you can certainly do this it's just it wasn't for me but it might be for you and if you're only looking for like fifty dollars extra a month this is be probably perfect for you you can take thirty minutes do three three dollar surveys for 30 minutes and you got nine dollars and you can do that every day and make make it quite a bit of, like chump change I think what is that is that the word chump change I think that's the phrase chump change chump change I don't know you can make some some coin <laughs> as my kids would say so number two uh, you're already shopping so you're already using um, Ulta online or Sephora or Walmart or Amazon you're going to the grocery store, you're going to CVS, you're going to Rite Aid, right? Like you have to. It's just something we do. We need to survive. We need groceries. We need clothing. We need toilet paper. We need laundry detergent. So try rebate apps. So on my phone, I have Ebates. I have I, I, Ibotta. Sorry. I have Checkout 51. I have Berry Cart and I have Shopkicks. There is like 13 different other ones. I'm just limiting myself to those right now until I get used to some of those, but I might add another one later. But you can make good, you can make 
some good money back. Um, I think the most I've gotten is like $40 in a month. And it's not like I'm spending things to do to like spending money to make money. I already have to go to the grocery store. I already have to buy wipes. I already have to buy diapers. I already have to buy laundry detergent. Like it's something I already have to buy. And all I'm doing is scanning my receipt or purchasing it through the Ebates app instead of purchasing it through, directly through their website. So you're already going to spend that money. So why not make a little rebates back on that money? It just it just makes sense. I just don't I don't understand why people don't do it. It just makes sense. So the third thing you can do isn't really like a earn money kind of thing, but if you don't have to spend money, a dime saved is a dime earned, or is it a penny? A penny saved is a penny earned. Um, that's what I was always taught as a kid. So you might not be like working to save it, but you could be working like to, you may not, might be earning it, but you're saving it, so you're not spending it, as I'm trying to say. So review, um, review items for free stuff. I do this all the time. I did this before I started YouTubing. I've done it for years. I just review people, like companies will send you things for free to review them and you get to keep the product. So I've got diapers. I've got, there's so many baby ones out there. If I saw a newborn, I'd be swimming in crap as a review for free. Um, but there's multiple websites you can sign up for and I will leave links for almost all these below. So there's Pinch Me that sends you sample size things for free. We gotten we've gotten coffee, we've gotten vitamins, we've gotten wipes, we've gotten deodorant. Like I've been doing this one for years and it's once a month. Sample source, which is I think it's like every three months, but they also send you sample size things, but I've gotten a lot of stuff there too. Um, influencer sends you almost full size things and I've gotten some things from there too. I got a whole baby box uh, a couple years ago when Aldi's came out with their um, baby like section. I got a huge thing of, like puffs for Jensen and some diapers and wipes and some toys and stuff like that. And there's also Crowd Tap, the Pink Panel, Buzz Agents, and Smile 360. So a lot of these are sample ones, but uh, something free is something free. You can go to Amazon and review some products on there, and the more things that you review on there, the more companies will reach out to you to want to send you things to review, um, and then you get to keep the product. So think about that. Number four is MLMs, so multi-level marketing. And these are like, if you have a huge social circle, and you have a lot of people that will buy things from you, this would be perfect way to make money. Um, so the multi-level marketing are things like your Avon, your Mary Kay, um, what other ones? There's Lou LaRue, I think is how you pronounce it, Young Living, Pampered um, Chef, Beachbody, Advocare, all those like things where your friends are pushing things on you pretty much. Those are multi-level marketing. And if you have a knack for selling things and you are have a great social circle and you want to do that that is a beautiful way for stay-at-home parents to make money beautiful I tried it it wasn't for me um, I didn't like having to ask people to buy things all the time it just wasn't for me I'd rather suggest something to somebody and they buy it but I don't want to feel like I'm pushing anything on anybody so it just wasn't for me but if that is something that you think would be good for you. That is a wonderful way. I know multiple people that are making wonderful livings at doing multi-level marketing. And if you think you can succeed at it, then do it. But really, really research into the company that you were thinking about doing and really, really talk to people that work for the company, but no longer work for the company. Talk to the people that have worked there and don't work there anymore and ask them why. Don't talk to people who work there now because they're still going to try to get you to sign up underneath them. You need to talk to people who worked there at once and don't work for the company anymore. Number five is resell old items. So you, I do this still. Um, you go to Goodwill or the thrift store and you find the designer jeans or the designer shirts or the designer purses, shoes, or you have a knack for finding antiques. Um, and then you get on eBay and you sell them or you get on Craigslist and you sell them or Poshmark or something like that. And I have made 
up to $700 a month and just selling old crap. So the stuff like around our house that we don't use, old electronics, old clothes that my kids have outgrown, um, kitchen appliances that we don't use anymore, go garage sailing and find that like gold item or ticket item, whatever, and so that it's a great way to make money. You don't have to spend a lot of money to start because you can literally look around your house and find things to start doing that. And then just reinvest some of that money into getting new items to sell. This one is a little bit more time consuming because you have to take the pictures, you have to go to the post office, you have to message customers back and stuff like that. But if you can do it for three hours a night when your kids are napping or like when they have gone to bed, then that's a great way to make money too. And if you have more questions about that, I can do a separate video on reselling items and how to market them. I did go to school for marketing, so I have a little bit of a knack for it. Number six is freelancing. So there's two apps that I recommend for if you want to be a freelance writer. There's um, Fever with two R's at the end, and then there is Upwork. So if you download those apps, writing was just a passion of mine. I love to write. I love um, writing poems. I love to write freelance. And you can actually make good money for this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to download those apps, and then there will be postings on there. So people will be asking for somebody to write a paragraph for this and you can charge per word or per project and you write that in and if they accept it they pay you if they don't they don't but it's like a kind of a toss-up in the air but one more people you get more established more people will purchase your freelance work and it's a great way to make money I know people have made like up to like two thousand three thousand dollars on that because you can help people finish books you can help them write articles for their blog and stuff like that Number seven is if you have a any kind of degree, whether it's associates, bachelors, or masters, you can tutor or teach online. There is two different websites that I found. There's VIP VIP Kids Teacher or Tutor.com. So VIP Kids Teacher is an online teaching. Um, you take like two or three days, three three hours out of your day, and virtually teach some kids, and it'd be great um, if you homeschool. So you could homeschool your kids and teach other kids at the same time. And tutor.com is, is something that you really specialize in. So if you're a math whiz or you're really good at biology, you can go on there and um, virtually tutor children too. There's also um, on the tutor.com you can teach other people English. So if you're really good at speaking um, English and you know a lot of like grammar techniques, you can do that. Uh, and that makes really good money. I think I saw like 15 to 14 dollars an hour. So that's pretty good money. Number eight is another virtual thing, so virtual assistants. Just go on to like ZipRecruiter and Indeed and look up virtual assistants. There is tons of them. If you are really organized, if you um, have really good communication skills, if you can run errands and have great communication skills through social media or through the phone or through the computer, this is perfect for you. I did this for about a year. I made a livable wage doing it. It is a wonderful way, but there's a lot of people who will scam you. Two things. Never cash a check that somebody sends you and says that they need you to send part of it back because they overpaid you, never okay, not a scam. And never send a money order to anybody, ever. If you do not know them, do not send them a money order. So just don't do that. So look, follow your gut, use common sense when it comes to things like this, and look up one zip, zip recruiter in Indeed, and they usually will tell you whether they think it's a scam or not. So number nine is um, services. So provide a service out of your home. You're already going to be home with your children. So babysit. You can make upwards to like four or five dollars an hour babysitting. And if you're already going to be home, why not, right? Um, you, my Aunt Rosie, bless her soul, she used to do people's laundry. So all the people around her neighborhood would bring her laundry and she'd charge by the basket. And she would wash it, um, dry it and iron it for you, fold it, and then send the basket back, and she just charged by the basket with something that she did as a little side hustle to make ends meet. You could dog sit, uh, or you could, my cousin, she cleans homes. She stays at home with her kids, and then a couple hours a week, she cleans her home. She cleans homes um, and makes pretty good wages doing that, so just think of things that you do already at your house and things that 
other people said, oh, you're really good at that. I wish somebody could come do that. I would pay for somebody to do that. And then say, hey, you want to pay me to do that? I'll do that. And number 10, my last one is goods. So you have services that you can sell. So you can sell your services. Now you can sell your goods. This is my big one that um, supplements income for me. So I do a lot of crafts. So I sell, I do photography on the side, which is a really good income, and I love it. It's a passion of mine. Um, I, I just love doing it. It's pretty good money. I don't charge like an arm and leg because it's not a profession. It's just something that I do that people seem to like my work, and so I charge them a reasonable rate. I make cards, so um, I make greeting card packets or thank you cards or wedding cards, just like that. I make my own skin care and sell that. I might do a um, DOI skincare video, so if you want that, please leave a comment below and let me know if you would like to see that. You could... I know lots of people around here like have bakeries outside of the, out of their homes. That'd be a great way to supplement income if you really enjoy baking. You could start a little like cake shop or a little cut cake shop or cookie shop out of your home. Um, that'd be great. You could cook. I have been offered um, to sell my ravioli, my homemade ravioli. It's just not something I'm willing to do because it's a lot of work and I don't want to put that much work into it. But if you make wonderful lasagnas or wonderful milos so you could make them freeze them and sell freezer meals to people like I know people who would buy that so think about that you could crochet my aunt used to crochet she would stay home mom for well 18 years so more than that but for all of her kids lives um, and she crocheted and that's what she did to supplement income and she made good money out of that she made hats and blankets and scarves and booties and Oven mints and everything you can think of that you can crochet. She made it. Uh, you can make wreaths. And, um, I know lots of people who make wreaths and charge really good money for them. And they make pretty good supplement income as well. Or you could do t-shirts. There's like crazy amounts of people popping up on my Facebook that are making like t-shirts or like the vinyl stickers or some like cups with sayings on them. It's like that. If that's something that you are really creative about, do it. Think of things that... God has blessed you with as a talent. So I honestly 100% believe that God has blessed everybody with something that they are wonderful at, whether it be something that they can do for somebody else, if you're like a supposed to be service, whether it's something that you can make and sell to somebody else. Like God has blessed every single one of us with something that we are good at, something that we have talent with. And we just have to work our little butts off to find what it is that he has blessed us with. And when you find that, you run with it. Hopefully you're passionate about it and you make a little money to make a livable income or supplement income for being a stay-at-home parent. So my last little one, my 11, my bonus, is to blog or vlog. So maybe start a YouTube channel and start making some money off of YouTube. YouTube. Um, if you love to cook but don't want to sell your stuff, maybe start a recipe blog where you just share recipes that you think everybody will love and I'm sure people will pay for that. Um, if you are really into health and fitness, start a health and fitness Instagram, just like something on social media or something like that. Um, just find something that you're passionate about or that you like to do or that you're really good at and try to figure out a way to make a living for it. If Try one of these or try all of these. One of these might work for you or you might want to do all of these at once and make a pretty good living. It's up to you. But if you really want to stay at home, then there's ways to do that. It's going to be a huge trial and error. I promise you that. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be a very big trial and error. But if you're willing to put the work in and willing to do it, you can do it. I promise. So. If anybody else has any suggestions of ways to make a livable income at home or an income at home that can be supplement to a spouse's income, please leave that in the comments because I know I did not hit every mark. I know there's so many more ways out there because I promise there's plenty of money for everybody to go around. So if you like this video, you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button and the like button and I hope to see you next time. Bye!